Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is physical design course where we shall be looking at some very interesting and important topics for those who are in academics and in professional engineering world. In this video, we will cover two very important effects that occur in the MOS capacitor at submicron channel length, out of which first topic is a body effect. This is the effect that occurs in the channel of MOS in the submicron layer. So submicron means when your channel length is lesser than micron range. That means the channel which is formed from source to drain. So from here to here, let's say it is L and this L is the length of channel that is in the order of micrometer or submicrometer that could be nanometer also. In that range, there is something called as body effect that occurs and that is going to discuss here. Now consider this NMOS device. In this three terminal device, we have drain which is connected at higher potential and it is termed as VDD. And there is a source which is connected at lower potential and it is termed as VSS. And generally a channel is created from source to drain so that it becomes the source of electrons which flow from here to drain direction and current flows from drain to source and this p substrate this p substrate is having the majority carriers as holes and this is called as freely rotating holes which are inside the substrate this substrate is also called as body of the transistor now what we do by construction is we generally create a biasing and we generally create it as a ground so we generally ground the substrate for creating better immunity with respect to noise for the MOSFET by creating this kind of biasing we essentially remove that body effect we will not see that body effect this substrate bias voltage we call it as VSB and when it is zero we do not see any body effect now let us assume that somehow your substrate voltage is going below the zero voltage. If it goes below the zero voltage at that time your electron will need more positive gate potential. So let's say you have connected your gate as VG and it is turned on. That means it is turned on means you have VG greater than VT threshold voltage is already crossed. But if substrate voltage is lesser than zero, that time this gate potential is not sufficient enough to attract the electrons towards the channel. So, the, so therefore, the substrate potential is essentially acting against your VG, that is gate potential. So substrate potential is actually acting against the gate potential when it is negative. And hence, this threshold voltage will not be sufficient enough to turn the gate on. So this is called as body effect. Hence, we need to bias the body so that if there is any negative spike comes that gets grounded and it does not disturb the potential in the transistor. Hence, in summary, when VSB is zero, you do not have any body effect. So at that time, you don't see any body effect. But let's say if you have VSB lesser than zero and let's say for a moment you see the spike in ground level of your VSB. So at that time, this moment when this spike comes at that time, you may see that your threshold voltage is not sufficient enough to turn the transistor on and we know, do not want that. So at that time, your VT will increase and we not, do not want this. That is by we essentially bias ourselves directly to VSB as zero so that we do not see any such kind of noise. Now the second effect that we are going to discuss is channel length modulation. We know that source is at negative potential and drain is at positive potential. So because of this a channel will be formed and gate is turned on then transistor will start to switch. So when threshold, threshold voltage is crossed when just the threshold voltage is crossed at that time your MOS capacitor will trans will transit so there is a transition that happens and that transition is from triode region that is your resistive region when you have vg lesser than vt 
at that time it is on but it is not sufficient on to create enough drain current which is independent of your gate voltage so at that time when it transits from triode region to saturation region that transition happens when you just cross your gate voltage more than threshold voltage at that time you have sufficient enough current which flows from this region from this source to drain there will be drain current which flows in this direction and electrons will flow from here to here so at that time you will see that drain current is increasing with every gate voltage and it is no more dependent on your drain voltage so when drain current keeps on increasing with every increase of gate voltage that happens in saturation region and when it happens because of high electric field you will see that your channel length is not uniform and straight like this now because of high electric field your channel gets tapered and it will not be uniform so it gets tapered towards the drain region and with this tapering happening the electric field becomes more intense and drain current further increases and this is modulation of channel length this channel length is not straight and non, not uniform so that modulation is called as channel length modulation and it is a phenomena that occurs in the short channel effects that is when your channel length is very small it is in the range of submicrons these were the two important topics that we wanted to discuss before we start the introduction of physical design and other concepts that's all for this video we will come up with more concepts in further videos please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you